Hello everyone, it's Brendan again. I thought I'd try something different and start having model showcases. With plenty of new projects I'm working on, be they stories, reviews, or Thomas the Movie. Yes, I've forgotten about it. I thought I'd share it with you. This video's model is of my 00 scale season 3, Thomas. Growing up on Thomas, my favorite seasons to watch were 3 through 5. It was something about the way the engines and the world looked then that made it feel more real. The engines look pretty when they have gloss coatings. That and the crashes were fucking awesome. When deciding what season to base mine off of, I leaned heavily into those seasons for inspiration. My reasoning for wanting to make a near fully custom made Thomas model is because, well, the Pachman Thomas is kind of poop. This mold is over 20 years old and needs a new tooling. Even with mods to make it look better, it's still off with some measurements and proportions. So I went with the closest I can get and 3D printed them based off measurements from the real prop. My plan was to make model accurate versions of the props at some point later down the line, but after a commission fell through, I was given Thomas to have for myself, so me being project deprived and ADHD running my life, I started right away. The body shells are resin printed and require some sanding. Lots of sanding. Lots and lots. The print was made possible through Greens Trains, and it was designed by the LBSC Thomas. These guys are extremely talented. Thank you both. I believe I did around two or three coats of primer with sanding each time to bring down the lines. The cab was the most difficult part though, and I hate sanding. I really, really do. Currently while filming this because it's the beginning of April, it's 45 degrees outside. I have to resort to using a space heater. So it's doing its job. It's working really well. I just don't want to bring these inside so I have to smell the paint fumes. But they're doing well. Need another coat or two and then they'll be ready for sanding and then probably more coats. Also, future project right here. Ah! After figuring out I didn't need to sand anymore, I did a test spray of Rust-Oleum Oasis Blue and was quite satisfied with the color. The running board was also painted after adding the buffers. These being made of brass are slightly oversized on the heads. I opt to not use the more size accurate 3D prints because Thomas does a lot of shunting, pushing and pulling. I didn't want the buffers breaking on me. And, oh, ew. I think putting the prints under the heater warped the running board. That can easily be fixed, thankfully. Oh uh, yeah, now I can see another mistake. The tops of the tanks curve inwards. I definitely sanded those too much. Fixing that up with some Tamiya putty and light sanding, now after some small touch-ups and more coats of blue, painting his cab portholes, he was ready for the glossy clear coat. Yippee! He's so shiny! Next was the lamp irons, made from fabric pins, sanded and cut the size, 3D printed Markland lamp and brake pipes, added a temporary screw link too, and same thing goes for the back end. Added a coal load as well, I don't know if it's made of real coal or uses charcoal. I made this a few years ago, I forget. Next came the fun part, adding his lining! Thankfully for the most part I didn't have to cut or bend anything to length, as George, both out 95, has a lining template that can be easily transferred to the model. Let me rephrase that easily. Good thing I went to print class and learned how to lay vinyl. It was about eight years ago, and you'd think it was like riding a bike. You never forget. In this case, I forgot, and the last ten seconds didn't mean anything. This was actually not that hard, just seemed to be very meticulous. Ah, now that looks good. I think. The boiler bands were also made using remaining vinyl, and for those asking, no, it doesn't have backlighting. That was until after I started making the video, so throughout you'll see it mostly without it. Oh, yeah, almost forgot, I fitted some brass whistles too. At one point his chassis was temporary and uses the normal Bachman Thomas wheels. Since I don't have the space to give him a test run around the loop, I brought the little blue guy to my model train club for a test trial, since it's long and has, you know, plenty of curves. Since I opt to give the models DCC moving forward, Tom was the first one to receive this, as he's a brand new model, I thought he deserved the whole treatment. I eventually swapped the wheels from a Donald Douglas chassis. I wanted to try something different than using Edwards. Mastin sprayed them to match the blue of the body. It came out pretty alright. The side rods are resized from the Scottish Twins and measured to fit. To be honest, as much as I like them, they don't really allow Thomas to roll backwards. At least he can still go forwards. Eh. An important detail I added was the bottom of the chassis to extend the block. 
giving him that distinctive Marklin feel. This was inspired by Green Strain's model of Tomas. Stacy. I feel this detail is kind of important and often overlooked by a lot of modelers who make models inspired by the props in the scale. With another outing at the club to test his wheels and see if there's any hang-ups, he actually held up. He held up really well. I was surprised he did. Look at him go. Some of the last details I added recently are a black cupboard in the cab to hide the electronics and wires, new screw links that can take the stress of pulling heavier loads, a vinyl number one, and a working tail lamp light. DCC works wonders. That about wraps up this blue dude. I learned new things, made mistakes, but I had fun and would love to make more plastic models. Now, it's going to be some time before this model pops up in any other stories due to me already filming stuff with my Bachman Thomas. I don't want things to be inconsistent. But I do have the club and Thomas and his fans events to keep this guy running and busy until then. I still have some stuff to do, some details will be changed down, and I'm definitely going to give him a front working lamp. Maybe in the future he could have smoke or sounds. Hmm. Anyways, if you want to make a Thomas like this, you can message the LBSE Thomas or get the file for printing on your own down in the description below. Thank you all so much for coming back and joining me. I'll see you on the next felony. I mean, I mean, uh, till then, stay gold. Oh, the roads are icy. <laughs> I'm Bertie. <laughs> <laughs>